I love Fallout, specifically Fallout 1 and 2. Those games are some of the few games that make it into my favorite games of all times list. With the recent release of Fallout 4, I got back to playing them both more than I ever had. Then I thought about the future of those two games, and it's quite scary. One of these days, Fallout and Fallout 2 will be forgotten. Nothing but an old software that people used to play. No longer will it be known as a timeless classic. And you know what? Fine. That'll happen to all games eventually. Eventually even Fallout 4 will become a thing of the past. But I just want another Fallout game, at least another Fallout like light game with the same style of graphics and turn-based RPG gameplay. And so today, and for a while, I will be teaching you guys how to create an original Fallout clone, at least to the best of my abilities. So, here we go. Alright, let's begin. So, the first thing we're gonna have to do is get our graphics. Now, either you can make these, or you can download them. And in my sake, uh, I'm just trying to do this as quickly as possible. I'm not trying to release this, so I'm going to use some assets. Now, when it comes to making your graphics, I'm not a graphics designer, but I know the best thing to use when making isometric graphics, which is what Fallout uses and what we'll be using, uh, you're going to want to use Blender, that's a free on Steam, it's a 3D modeling thing, and then you work, but uh, what you do after that, you know, I'm not sure, and I don't want to say anything like I almost did, and be wrong, and get hated on. Uh, so, we're going to get our graphics, and this is a great site for finding your graphics, it's uh, opengameart.org. Uh, I looked up isometric tiles, and I got to this area, but this is all uh, free to use isometric tiles and they've got some good stuff here uh, a lot of it a lot of it looks kind of fallouty dungeon stairs that looks nice I might download that um, animated fish okay uh, some of these don't work most of them if not all of them do um, and by not work I mean in click team fusion a lot of them are still blender files but uh, just sort of look for what you want. Try to keep an art style. Unfortunately, uh, in the future of this tutorial, I do kind of break our art style that I'm using, which is a more original Fallout look. Uh, but you should be okay if you use here. This place doesn't have characters, so we will be making our characters in just a second. But I mean, like, look, you got like a little base that could be a little vault. Uh, or whatever you think, you know, if you don't want to make it look like Fallout, don't make it look like Fallout. But this is just your basic place to go for some uh, more basic but uh, free and already nice looking graphics. Even have a brick block. Um, but now on to the characters. What you're going to want to do with your characters, you can go anywhere. But for this tutorial, and because it's quick and I like it, we're going to be using the uh, Universal LPC Sprite Sheet Character Gen Generator. Uh, you can just look this up as like Character Generator, or U Universal LPC, whatever. Just find a way to get to it. And this is the art that it uses, so obviously we're going to be breaking a more Fallout realistic style. But I like it because it has a lot of options for customization, and it gives you an entire uh, animation sheet right there, uh, which is nice. The animations are good and smooth, so it doesn't particularly matter to me. Although if you are actually going to make a game that you're going to release, I suggest making one that you know matches art styles and preferably is made by you because when you make when you steal other people's assets and put them in your games and then sell them that's morally wrong and you should feel ashamed of yourself so the isometric tiles i used are going to be uh where what where are they um 
me see. Uh, I can't find them. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Point is, um, they're square. So let me. Uh, okay, whatever. Let me show you what that looks like on here. So the squares are gonna look. Let me open the file. Sorry, have to. There we are. Okay. That's not what I wanted. This is embarrassing, I'm sorry. Didn't realize this would, this would be so hard. Okay, they look like this. And so I'm able to clone the object a couple times. And already you can see that you're sort of map building. They're nice. The ones I got at least are decently seamless. And even though the original Fallout games use a, what is it, is it a hexagon or octagon, I forgot. Um, whatever, they use these hex tiles. Yeah, hexagonal. Um, even though that's what Fallout uses, I think the squares are easier. And these were the only type I could find that weren't cartoony. And all in all, they, they look really nice. So I would suggest using these. I can't seem to find them. But I can keep looking. And I don't want to waste anybody's time. So I won't. But just for a couple more seconds. Oh, here they are. So it's an isometric tile starter pack. They're not the greatest. You can see here with uh, them combined, they really look, they don't really look great. But the point is, again, it's a, it's a starter pack. So it's supposed to just kind of get you started with your things. And that's exactly what this tutorial is for. Now on to what you're going to do with the graphics. I hear made a graphics folder specifically for the graphics in our game. Um, we have buildings, characters, foliage, ground, and weapons. I put my characters in that one, my buildings obviously, uh, the grounds, foliage. You're going to want to download as many foliage as you can find because you're going to want a lot of them. And weapons. I did not get these off the isometric page, but I still got them off of <clears throat> the game asset, opengameart.org. I still got these off of there, but I actually looked up weapons. Uh, they're nice. This is, for example, this is the pistol. Uh, so, you know, not the greatest, but it'll be nice enough to use in our, in our game. This is an AK. So just, just ones we can use, uh, uh, like the uh, Fallout menus, if I look them up real quick. Um, if, you're look, if you're watching this, you probably already know what they look like, but uh, well, yeah, sort of like this, with the, that's kind of where those weapons will go. But that's that. So you're going to want to make this because this is extremely helpful when trying to find all your graphics. Uh, so this is basically what I sort of made randomly. And so this is about kind of later on what our game will look like. So let's. Let's play it. So in this one, I've already built a working AI system. You see these guys will walk around, stop sometimes, stop randomly, and pick up pace and randomly move. And it's not the best. It is very, again, random and odd. It's not something obviously a human would do, but it's a basic AI. Uh, we'll be definitely in this tutorial, we'll be working on that. We'll be working on making a huge map, uh, making 
a bunch of other stuff, and that's about what this is going to end up looking like. No, the arrow won't be there, but... So yeah, and occasionally they stop next to each other, which I think is just awesome. It'll make it look a lot more alive. Uh, but that's going to be it for this episode. I'm quite sorry that it's a shorter episode. We were just talking about where to get the graphics. Um, but I kind of, you know, spent like two hours making the intro. But I do want to talk real quickly about the, uh, the upload schedule and the way that's going to work. So the way it's going to work is I'm going to try to record as many episodes as possible <clears throat> every Sunday and Saturday. So I'm going to try on the weekends to record as many videos as I possibly can. And then based on how that worked, I'm going to release those in a pattern based on how many were recorded. So no episodes will be released on a weekend, meaning you could have up to five videos of this a week. Uh, if I record one video, it'll be going up on a Wednesday. If I record two videos, you get it Tuesday and Thursday. If I record three videos, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If I record four videos, uh, I'm still thinking about this because that's, you know, an, an even number and an odd, but it'll probably be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, uh, but that could always change. It'll probably be Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, and skip Wednesday. Um, and then it could also, so, sorry, and then, and then, uh, and then if I record five, it's, it's the whole week. So, that's gonna wrap this part of the tutorial up. Again, I'm sorry this was short. And, by the way, yes, if you can tell by this HUD, I did use that image I got, I picked, put up earlier. So, credit to whoever that image, who owns that image. Uh, who is this? Uh... Micro 4K Studios. Whoever you are, I'm sorry. I'm using your uh, HUD for my tutorial. Um, please don't sue me. Uh, it was easy to just grab, uh, but it's really nice. I'll probably download it for Brotherhood Tactics. So that's going to end this episode, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and stay tuned for the next episode where we'll be building our map and starting off with the basics. Alright.